Hey guys, this is Tim Goose. Happy 4th of July weekend. Hope everyone is doing well and you're about to eat some barbecue, watch some fireworks, hang out with your friends and family. No matter what you got going on, hope everyone has an awesome weekend. Really enjoy it. Uh, I know I am. I have some family coming over in a little bit. We're going to barbecue up some carne asada and uh, watch some fireworks. So, wanted to give you an update of the 75-gallon plant tank. I was out on, on vacation last week. It's been a little bit since my last video. Uh, went about nine days without a water change, got back, and noticed a good amount of green algae bloom going on in the aquarium. So uh, I immediately did a 50% water change. It's one of the great ways of valuing algae bloom. That helped tremendously, but the reason why I'm standing back so far, and what you guys are probably wondering why I'm standing back so far, is I wanted to pan around the room and kind of point to what I think the culprit is. Uh, I have... A lot of natural light in this house. I don't have a basement. Every room's like this. One of the things I love about the house, I get tons of light. Uh, I like it a lot, but um, it also means it's not so good for fish keeping. So we're going to walk a little closer. Uh, say hello to Elliot. He's doing a little photo bomb here. Um, and look at the overall tank. So I did lose a panda quarry uh, in the last week. Not so sure what happened there. Everyone else seems to be doing fine. I'm going to keep an eye on everyone else in the tank. Uh, but I did go ahead to mount the algae bloom. I have changed the light setting a little bit. I do turn it off every night now about 8, 9 o'clock just to make sure I reduce the amount of light I'm getting overall at that Phoenix 24-7 cycle. We'll see if that helps. Uh, I've also gone and put that in. And what that is is... The AA Green Killing Machine UV Sterilizer. So uh, I haven't really used UV sterilizers in the past to battle algae. I've always approached it with lighting um, and water changes. But given this room and there's really no other option I have in this house, um, I need to bring something else in. I got a great price on it, so I figured I would start with this, see how it went. Uh, I'll give you guys lots of updates and reviews on how well I think it's working. Uh, down the road, but it's only been here about a day so far, so not really a whole lot of impact just yet. Um, ultimately, I think I might, you know, go for a um, inline UV sterilizer, something that's a little more high end. But we'll see if this one does the trick first. Um, it's a bit bulky. Um, luckily, it's black, so it blends in a little bit at the background. That's a 24 watt version you see right there, uh, up to 105 gallons. So we'll see how that works, but ultimately I think I'd like to actually have um, something that's in line with the filter. So that might come down the road, but for now, um, I'll be happy to give you guys any questions, answer any questions, comments you have about it. Uh, leave them below. If I have to, I'll do a little quick video about it. Uh, otherwise, I'll try to respond to your, your comments. But that's all for now. Hope everyone has a great holiday. Uh, enjoy it. Eat some good food. Watch some fireworks. Hang out with your family. Uh, that's all for now. I'm out.